The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the Sunday readings as we prepare for this upcoming Lord's Day. This upcoming Sunday is the 16th Sunday after Pentecost. We're in series B of our three-year lectionary. That means we're in proper 18B is for the readings. The Old Testament reading is Isaiah the 35th chapter verses 4 through 7a, the epistles from James, the second chapter, verses 1 through 10, and then 14 through 18, and the gospels or in St. Mark still, the seventh chapter, verses, 30, uh, verses 24 through 37. The theme that ties our readings together, our merciful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ does all things well. Our merciful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ does all things well. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord for the 16th Sunday after Pentecost. Again, the Old Testament from the prophet Isaiah, the 35th chapter, verses 4 through 7a. Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For waters break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. In the haunt of jackals where they lie down, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. So far the word of the Lord. Now into our epistle lesson from James, the second chapter, verses 1 through 10, and then 14 through 18. My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, You sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, You stand over there or sit down at my feet. Have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. Are not the rich ones who oppress you and the ones who drag you into court? Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you were called? If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well, but if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty of all of it. What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. So far the word of the Lord. In the Gospel lesson from St. Mark, the seventh chapter, verses 24 through 37. And from there he arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and he entered a house and did not want anyone to know yet he could not be hidden. But immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Seraphonician by birth, and she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And he said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this statement you may go your way. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed, and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had his speech impediment. And they begged him to lay his hand on him. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears and after spitting, touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Epapatha, that is, be opened. 
and his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And Jesus charged them to tell no one. But the more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Again, our merciful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ does all things well. The Lord proclaims the gospel to those who have an anxious heart to comfort and encourage them with his presence. He comes not only with threats of he comes not only with threats of vengeance and recompense, but with his gracious salvation. He opens the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf. He loosens the tongue of the mute to sing for joy. Like water on thirsty ground, he speaks his life-giving word to people of all nations. With his word and the touch of his hand, he does all things well, so that you may now speak plainly. You confess the truth of God in Christ to the glory of his holy name, and you call upon his name in every trouble, confident that he will hear and answer. As you pray and confess with your tongue, so also love your neighbor as yourself. Show your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, by loving without partiality. For God has chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom. Amen. We pray the prayer of the day for this 16th Sunday after Pentecost. O Lord, let your merciful ears be open to the prayers of your humble servants and grant that what they ask may be in accord with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.